Okay, good morning everyone. Now, before we start, let's have a short prayer, okay? Let's bow our heads and pray the presence of the Lord, okay? Heavenly Father, we thank you for life. We uh, also thank you for your blessings, the protection, the guidance, and help you give to us. We thank you. We also pray for forgiveness because of our sins. Uh, this is all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Now, before we start, I have prepared a video presentation that I want you to watch. Now, before we watch the video, what are the things you should do? Yes, we keep silent, we <clears throat> understand the video, and also we listen very carefully, okay? Okay, now let's start. enjoy the video okay that's good now I have here an actual plant I want you to analyze what what are the things uh, you are seeing in this plant okay this is an actual plant analyze it for 10 seconds Okay. Based from the video that you have uh, watched and the actual plant that you have analyzed, what do you think is our topic for today? What do you think is our topic for today? Leaves. Leaves. Okay. Related. Ano pa? What more? Flowers. Yes, okay. Thank you for answering. Our topic for today is about plant parts and their functions. Okay? Okay, very good. Now, first, let's start with the first part. Now, what do you think is the first part of the plant? What do you think is the first part of the plant? Can you please read? The? Root. Okay, the, correct. Uh, please read. Okay, please read. The root hold the plant to the ground. Okay, very good. So, the root has an important part uh, in uh, keeping the plant standing up, okay? Okay, next. Can you please read? They absorb water and mineral from soil and bring this up to the stem and leaves. Okay, very good. Now, uh, the roots are just like the mouths of the plant. 
they absorb they consume or absorbs the water or minerals so that they will grow okay okay very good now there are three main parts of the roots first primary roots there are primary roots secondary roots and root hairs now what is the mean what is the meaning of the primary roots the largest root to form in a plant okay very good now the secondary root they are the small roots okay very good and the last one root hairs they are very fine roots they look like plant pieces of strings attached okay very good thank you for answering now let's go to the stem what are stem nai can you please the stem is the part where lips where do you yes where lips flowers and fruits are at Attached. Ayun, very good. How uh, do you think uh, stem is connected to the roots? Uh? It is connected, teacher. Yes, it is connected. And uh, what are the two kinds of roots? I what are the or rather what are the two kinds of stems? The first is the woody and. Herbaceous. Yes, the woody stem and the herbaceous. Now, let's go to trees. Are you familiar with trees? Yes, sir. Yes, you are familiar. Now, can you please give the meaning of the tree? Trees are tall plants with big stem called trunk. Mm, correct. What are some examples of trees? Mango trees, acacia, and tamarind. Okay, now I have prepared an image here. This is an example of a mango tree. This is an example of a mango tree. Now, let's go to shrub. What is shrub? Yes? Shrubs are a woody plants with short and hard stem. Okay. Uh, are you familiar with some examples of shrubs? The gumamela. Okay. Very good. The gumamela. I have here an example or an image of a gumamela. Okay. Okay. This is an example or this is a gumamela. This is an example of a shrub. Okay, next, vines. Are you familiar with vines? Yes, What sir. is vine? Vines have hard stems. Vines cannot stand. They grip and cling. On any solid objects. Okay, very good. So, vines cannot stand, but they cling to solid objects. For example, in this image, you can see that uh, walls or anything that is solid. For example, this, this, um, this door. If you put a vine here, it will climb up to the top. That is why... I, that is how they stand up. They cling to solid objects. And this is an example of it. Okay? Okay. Now, what is the next part? Next part of a plant. The next part of a plant is the, of course, the leaves. Next 
next part of a plant is of course the leaves. Now, can you read what are leaves? Mm -hmm. Now, can you read? Lips. The lips of plant. Usually. Usually. Green. Green. In color. Ah, oh, in color. Okay, very good. Thank you for reading. Now, why is that? It is because of chlorophyll. Now, what is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll. The pigment of? The pigment that captures light energy from the sun. Yes, that is the reason why the leaves are color green, okay? Okay. Now, there are two kinds of leaves. The simple leaves and the compound. Can you read the simple leaf? Has only one leaf. Has only one leaf blade. Uh -huh. Has only one leaf blade. And an example of only one leaf blade is the guyabano leaves, okay? Okay, what is the other one? Are you familiar? Okay, let's just use this as an example. Here you can see that it has only one leaf blade. It has only one leaf blade, the guyabano leaves, okay? It has only one leaf blade. Look, uh, this is the... Yes. Okay, very good. Yung tangkay niya, tapos, may isang lip blade dito. Yan, ang example ng isang lip blade. Now, what is the difference of compound, compound and simple leaf? Can you please read the compound one? Consists of many lip blades. Yes, consists of many leaf blades. And one example or one prime example of it is malunggay. The malunggay. Look, if you uh, analyze it, the guyabano leaves only have one leaf blade. But the malunggay has multiple or many leaf blades. Yan yan, no? Yan yung pinakaiba niya. Sa isang tangkay, merong marami. Ito, iisa lang. No? Yan. That is the example of compound leaves. Compound leaves. Now, let's go to flowers. Can anyone read what is flowers? Flowers differ very much in their Size. 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 Texture, color, and fragrance. Okay, very good. Are you familiar with uh, different kinds of plants? Uh, can you give examples of plants that you are already familiar of? Okay. May mga plants ba kayong familiar? Uh, familiar na mga plants para sa inyo? Pwede kayong magbigay ng example. Halimbawa, Mga flowers, Nay. Flower? No? Opo, mga example, halimbawa ng isang flower. Ano, may mga flower ba kayong alam? Sunflower. Oo, sunflower. Isa yun. Ano pa? Gumamela flower. Okay, gumamela, okay. Pa. Uh, ikaw, Cyrus, may flowers ka bang ano? Rose. Rose, tama. Ano pa? Tulips. Oh, tulips. Mga, mga examples yon ng mga flowers. And ano ang kanilang pinagkaiba? Pinagkakaiba? Color. Color. Yes. What more? Size. Yes. What more? The texture. Texture. Okay, very good. Those are some examples of uh, flowers that you have said, but... They differ in very much everything. And they also differ in uh, smell or fragrance, right? Right. Yes. Okay. Very good. 
Okay, now let's go to fruits. Now, can anyone read what is fruits? Yes? What is fruits? Please read here in front. A fruit is the matured or ripened ovary of a flower. Yes, correct. Next one. The fruit is the part that contains the seed. Okay, very good. Now, <clears throat> the fruit. If it is matured, eh, uh, some fruits are are available for consumptions. And for consumption, what are uh, fruits that you have already eaten? Can you give examples? Orange, mango, grapes, melon, and the banana. Mm, ano pa? Bukod sa mga ah, ano? Are, ah. Do you have uh, something that you want to share? Uh, maybe an maybe a uh, a rare fruit that you have already eaten? Maybe a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Yes, uh, it is uh, It is not common, but it is not that rare either. But uh, either way, it is a very good example. Yes, uh, apple, banana, orange, uh, watermelon, and other fruits are available for consumption if it is ripened. And all, of, all that you have said, is uh, a common is common for human consumption and of course every fruit has a seed and what happens if you plant those seeds it is stated here the fruit is part of is the part that contains the seed and if that seed uh, you were to plant that seed uh, what will happen you can grow a plant with that seed. Yes, correct. You can grow a plant with that seed. For example, uh, an apple. You have planted the seed of an apple. Do you get an orange an orange tree or an orange plant? No. No. You get a apple tree. So, that is, that is it for today. And now, before we go to our next activity, uh, let's review uh, some of our... Uh, some of what we have discussed. Now, what are the plants of a tree? Or what are parts of a plant? Yes? Roots, stem, leaves, and the flower, and the fruit. Okay, the roots, the stem, the, the leaves, um, the fruit, and the flower. Okay, um, what is the function of the fruit? Let's... Fruit. Can you give an example of a function of a fruit? They absorb water and minerals from the soil. Okay, correct. Next, the stem. The stem connects all the parts of the plant. Okay, correct. The leaves. The leaves absorb sunlight. Yes, because of its, because of the chloro chloro chlorophyll Chlor okay. okay now flower a flower differs from texture color size and, and fragrance fragrance okay very good um not all flowers are the same so that that is why we have different varieties of plant and fruit what does the fruit contains the seed the seeds which we can grow another plant plant again okay okay now before we end our our discussion for today i have prepared here an activity
have prepared here an activity. I want you to connect the parts of the plants with its correlating uh, image. These are the plants, uh, the parts of the plants and the part of the plants. Uh, connect it with its correlating image. Okay, first one. Okay, the leaves and the leaves. Okay, next. Uh, oops. Okay, very good. The stem. Okay, what is that? The fruit. Yes, the <coughs> fruit. And that's the flower. And last one is. the roots okay very good i see that you have all understand under or understood our lesson for today now uh, for our quiz i want you to open your books on page 99 and i want you to answer what is in your book answers letter a b and c okay okay give you five minutes for that Okay, are you done with answering your book? Okay, before we end our lesson for the day or before we say goodbye or I dismiss you, I want you to uh, read what's in page 100. Let's, uh, I want you to read uh, the next lesson we are about to discuss, okay? Okay, so that you will be prepared in our uh, discussion, okay? Okay. Goodbye and thank you everyone.